Okay, so we are live. Okay, thank you. So guys, good morning to everyone. And uh, it's a Sunday. If you give me your uh, 25 to 30 minutes, I can help you. I can seriously help you to you know, be a better communicator, to improve your English. I can help you to avoid that pain and trauma which you're going through. I know you're watching multiple channels for your English improvement. I know you are reading grammar books. I know you have tried a lot of methods. I know you are very desperate because communication, good communication is the gateway for success in life, for growth in life, for happiness in life, better job, better package. You know, I know that. I don't deny. But friends, you have to understand that communication problem is not an English problem. It's the mental problem. It's the psychological problem. It's the thoughts problem. Around 21 years ago, I started this journey. And today I'm here. When, when I started, I was also of the same opinion which you have. I used to feel like, you know, study grammar and all. But today I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you how we are wrong what mistakes we are doing. Yes, good morning, everyone. Now, I, I'm, I'm very punctual. I'm going to start with this because I, I, I don't want to waste your time. I want to stick with the time, okay? So let us go back, let us continue. I'm going to share my screen with you, dear friends. And I'm going to tell you what exactly, yeah, here we go. And I hope you can see what exactly I'm going to tell you and how this uh, 25 minutes we are going to understand them. I'll go ahead, okay? So I think my, uh, screen has got stuck. Take it, no problem. Hope it will recover back. Yeah, it is back. Take it. So let us start here. Friends, this is what we are going to understand. What is the connection between English communication, English speaking? By the way, English communication and speaking, they are two different things. Speaking and communication, they are two different things actually, but they are used interchangeable by everyone nowadays. But communication is more about connection and speaking is about just conversation. Anyway, but we're going to understand what is the connection between English communication and psychology. And let me tell you that. In fact, English communication is all about your psychology, all about your mindset, everything about your psychology. And I will, I will show you this. So do you have pen and notebook? Because I'm sure that second time you will not watch this video. You are live, so watch this video and keep a pen and notebook handy. I'll tell you how to work on this. By the way, no bragging, no bragging, but maybe uh, no one is going to explain you all these things. Okay, no criticism of anyone, but everyone is chasing grammar, perfection, forming sentences, speaking perfectly. Everyone, every channel, most of the channels are doing the same thing. As I said before, after 21 years of study, research, and my experience, I have realized it is wrong. And psychology plays a very important role, and that is what I'm going to teach you, help you here, guys. Stop, 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 stop now, and please have patience. Please have the patience to finish the video properly. Our problem is what, you know? Our problem is we have multiple options. On English communication, there may be thousands of YouTube videos, sorry, channels actually, and millions of videos. Do you have the patience of uh, 20 minutes to see, sit here? Otherwise, this will continue. You will keep on searching, you will keep on watching more videos. Every day, new video, every day, new trainer, new method, and you're going nowhere. You're on a treadmill. Do you want that to happen? If you want that, You'll go nowhere, guys. After five years and 10 years also, your English will not change. I have seen many students. What they're doing is, they're watching multiple channels. Now, for example, this. And they'll come here. Peep here, what's happening? Who is this Sandeep Patel? Communication, connection, English students. Leave it, and they'll go. And they will again go to the old grammar methods. But they don't have the patience to spend 25 minutes here Wait calmly. We are like a small, like eight-month-old, one-year-old baby, restless, 
restless, impatient, because we have so many options here. And every video you feel like, wow, this video has a secret of English fluency. And at the end, I have seen people struggling since two years. One student, I, I told, he told, I started that. He is working on his communication since seven years. And finally, sir, I want to join you now because I realized that the methods were wrong. And he also said that I, I used to see a video. I mean, they used to appear in my suggested list, but I never saw what is inside. Wait for five minutes, 10 minutes and see what is this. very interesting. Don't leave halfway and go, wait, hmm? let us understand. What is the real connection between English speaking and psychology? Let me change the slide for you and let us move forward. Huh? Yeah. Before going, under, before going ahead, you have to understand the human triangle. You have to understand the basic psychology of a human being. What is a human being? How he behaves? How he acts? There is a triangle actually. This is called as cognitive psychology. It's a branch of science. Now, what is cognitive? Cognitive means what? Cognition means your ability to think. Let me explain here. Thoughts. Your thoughts. You are made up of three important factors, your thoughts, then your emotions, and then your behavior. Your thoughts, your emotions, and your behavior. Many of us don't know what is this. Many of us don't understand our own psychology. We are just, just on autopilot mode. We, we are just, uh, reacting to different situations. We don't know how we work. In short, we don't know what is our operating manual. What is our operating manual? How we operate? What's inside us? What is that that is driving us, that is making us do some things? Why do we think in a way? Why do we behave in a way? Why do we cry? Why we are happy? Why we are jealous? We don't understand. We are just reacting like animals actually. And here we have to pause and understand how a human operates. What is the OS operating system of a human being? This is the operating system of a human being. We get thoughts. Thoughts create feelings and emotions. And emotions create your behavior. Let me give you one small example. Suppose you see a small cute puppy. You see. When you see a thought comes, here is, the, here is the thought, that thought comes. Oh, cute puppy. Which emotions come? Cute puppy. Of course, kind emotions come. Love comes, right? Of course, if you love dogs, if you don't love dogs, then different emotions will come, different thoughts will come. When those positive emotions are there, I'm sorry, when those positive emotions are there, those emotions will create behavior. Because your behavior is always triggered by emotions. And here the emotion is love and care. What will you do? We'll pick up that puppy, cuddle it, right? And maybe you will take home also, don't know, cut it. But understand one more thing. Our thoughts, emotions, and behavior are interacting with each other. Look at these arrows. They're interacting with each other. They are not only one way they interact, for example, your emotions also create your thoughts. For example, suppose you're feeling very sad, emotion is there. Then one thought comes, oh my God, why am I feeling sad? I'm, I'm boring, I mean, why am I feeling sad? I have everything in my life. Emotions create thoughts. And so your behavior also creates emotion. Behavior, it's reversible, it's interact. They're interacting with each other. Suppose you're feeling lazy today, Sunday. Ah, the slicing around and doing nothing, let me watch TV, do something. When you're feeling late, when, when you don't act, when you're slouching, maybe I don't know where you're sitting watching my video right now. In your bedroom or in your living room or, and how you're sitting. If you're slouching, see behavior. You will feel, you will feel low. It's, it's all interconnected through our brain chemistry. Because it's all about your hormones. I will not go detail into hormones, but your behavior creates emotions and your behavior also creates thought. For example, if you start jogging, you will feel good about yourself. 
This much is sufficient for you to understand. Let us move forward and let us connect this to basic factor called cognitive distortions. Hmm? I told you about the threats. Now, so guys, this is the most important factor here. As well as this is the most important factor in your everyday life. Cognitive distortions. Understand the word cognitions. Cognitive means what? Your ability to think properly, think in the right way, think logically. Think properly means what? Look for the evidence. Look for the proof. Okay? It should be realistic. It should be based on facts. It should have evidence. It should help you to achieve your goals. It should help you to achieve your goals. This is rational thinking. It should not hurt others. This is rational thinking. Right thinking. Logical thinking. But we are not able to do that. And we think in a wrong way. And the problem is we don't know that we are thinking in a wrong way. Like, like, like this English communication. Many of you have some wrong thoughts and beliefs about English communication which I will try and explain you now. So first we have to understand that we have this fault in our thought process. We can't think properly, we mess up. And as I showed before, the way you feel, the way you feel is because of the way you think, the way you think. Now, the question is, sir, the way we think, how it depends on, on which factor it depends on, all of you have this problem while, while communicating with a fluent person. When you go on the stage, you get nervous, sometimes anxious. Why? Have you realized? Have you thought about this? Why do you get nervous? Why some people look very calm and cool on the stage? You may have seen why some people are uh, Mr. Cool, you know, in, in tough situations also. Why we aren't able to do that? Why do we panic for small, small situations? Why do we stress ourselves? Why we lose our sleep or uh, or lost back or lost pen? Why do we lose our sleep? What what is happens? We never realize, and this is what I'm going to tell you. Our thinking is influenced by dear friends four important factors. Thinking, thinking, four important factors. Huh? Nature, yeah, your genetics, your genes affect the way you think and the genes we get from our parents. Second, nurture. Oh my God, this is so important. And nurture means effect of people around you, friends around you, parents, everywhere around you guys. And that's the reason why in our institute, online and offline, we take care of thoughts. We take care of the way we think. We take care of people. We take care of students around because we don't allow anyone to talk negative. No, we have all positive people. In our online offline matches, we never discuss garbage. We never discuss politics. We never discuss uh, any controversial topics because we don't allow that. We discuss positive things in our group discussions also. We, we discuss uh, positivity. We discuss growth. We discuss self-improvement. We don't gather for English communication and discuss about uh, who is better politician. We don't discuss about uh, some controversial topics. All of you can understand which topics. I will not even talk also about those topics. We don't do this. We don't want that. Nurture, very important. Effect of your surrounding. Number three factor, guys. Culture, 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 culture. Culture also has impact on your thinking. Suppose you were in a surrounding around, around culture, you can see, understand, every culture is different. You know, Indian culture is different. Maharashtra, I'm from Maharashtra actually. Maharashtrian culture is different. Even I live in Sangli district. Sangli culture is different. Culture means what? Culture means there are certain norms. There are certain norms. There are, there are certain things, like dogma, we can see, which we have to follow. For example, um, when we go in a temple, we have a culture to wash our feet. It's a culture. 
every culture is different for example uh, our indian culture is amazing we have different culture i mean best is uh, touching feet of our parents it's a culture culture impacts our thought process and in the long term and you can see that uh, now new kids who are living in us where the impact of their culture is there on the thought process and their parents were migrated to other countries their culture is indian culture and that is ingrained in their brain cemented in their brain guys next factor very important and that is signature signature means what signature is everything signature means simple thing out signature means me i want to change i want to change okay three factors nature nurture culture problem sir i have some faulty genes sir uh, my, my, around me people are not good sir culture okay but i want to change do you have that hunger to change i understand all these three factors don't matter what matters is do you want to change do you want to improve and that is where i focus on i don't focus on and we can't change nature we can't change nurture we can't change culture we can change our signature signature we can change our own thought process that is what i will try and do this in our english communication that is what we do in our uh, live classes we change student signature we change his thought process because i believe that english communication self improvement confidence it's all about signature making basic change in the thought process and that is what i did with myself first and then i'm here in front of you your friends let us move forward now let us apply this concept which is used in uh, cognitive psychology to our english communication and how it works well, the same thing we do with our english also we have some cognitive distortions about english we think about english that english must be learned in this way but that is wrong and i will tell you what is that first one perfection versus speaking when we when we try to speak in english we are chasing perfection do you chase perfection right we are not focusing on expression we are not focusing on speaking we are not focusing on delivering the message we are focusing on only perfection 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 and the more perfection you speak the more anxiety all of you understand one thing thoughts create emotion i told you do you remember that now if your thought is i must speak perfect english hey by the way uh, my book is will be out book is ready now don't speak perfect english uh, i don't know whether you have seen my teaser yesterday which i published on my youtube channel that's the title of this don't speak perfect english people who seek perfection understand people who seek perfection in life they are depressed stressed and anxious not only for english communication everywhere and the same thing applies with english communication we want to speak perfect english in problem starts from there now some of you will say that should we speak wrong english have i said wrong english we are only thinking in two terms wrong or perfect in between nothing in between what is there better better word is there you can speak better english get on keep on getting better keep on improving yourself keep on improving your confidence keep on getting better better day in and day out keep on getting better yourself that's more important getting better not perfection perfection is a disease excellence is healthy excellence getting better every day and i am sure that this perfection has given you sleepless nights depression i am i'm sure in your real life also how many of you have experienced write in the comments write in the comments next one obsession with grammar understand the word obsession obsession means out of limit crazy 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 i have seen people reading grammar books of different authors multiple times thinking that that will make you fluent means we are we are here thinking scientifically and logically i will give you one example two days before and this is happening many years two days before one english grammar teacher came to my institute she was ma ba in english and she said sir i can't communicate i can't teach grammar but i can't speak fluently 
Could you answer me? Do you have any answer for this? On the contrary, look at me. I don't know any grammar actually. Purposely, I purposely I isolate myself actually. I purposely keep grammar at B. Even if sometimes my daughter comes. She is in 10th standard. Dad, this grammar, don't ask me. I don't know. That is, that is what we are obsessed with grammar. And we are, wrong, we are wrongly thinking that grammar will make you fluent. No, I will tell you after two minutes what, what will make you good in English. Grammar obsession. And we are, we are wrongly thinking that grammar will make you fluent. Right? Grammar is a subject, guys. Try to understand, like maths. Now, when you study maths, will you speak in maths? Like you think that when I study grammar, I will speak fluently in English. Like if you study physics, will you play a good football? No. Want to play football, then go on the ground and play. You can't be messy by reading physics books. Physics wala is very good in teaching physics, but physics wala cannot play football like messy. Try to understand this. Next point, translation. Now here is the, is the key factor. People think that by, by doing translation, I can communicate effectively. But let me tell you one thing. Translation is very good when you want to understand. But if you want to speak, you can't translate and speak. And if you try to do that, your English will sound like that dubbed movie, a Hollywood dubbed movie in Hindi. How it feels like. And you can't translate each and every sentence. Because the origin, that's what people are doing. It's what they're doing is they're taking a sentence, translating into their head and then trying to speak. What happens? Your brain can't translate fast or quick. Right now I'm talking to you. Am I translating my English from Marathi to English, English to Marathi? Am I doing that? No. It is spontaneous. Now I know what you're going to ask. Then, okay, how to speak? I'll tell you. Translation is wrong. It, okay, you, you will understand the video. I mean, translated, there are many videos on YouTube. You can see they are teaching English in translation. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> you feel, uh -huh, I understood. You will understand. That's what I'm saying, that you will not be able to reproduce the speech. And even if you reproduce to some extent, you will not get that flair, that confidence, that natural uh, original English that you will not get. Guys, agree with me? Write in the comments. Even if you don't agree, you can write in the comments. Yes, we are, I mean, we are open, we are transparent. We are not here to manipulate your thought process because I believe in science, because I'm a PhD, I'm, I'm a researcher. And in PhD, we have one subject called research methodologies. And there we, we are always being told that a hypothesis is a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a hypothesis. And listen, until it is not proved, it doesn't become a law. So I have this uh, scientific thinking. Whatever I'm saying, that don't believe me, me. Just go and find out. Go think logically and reason. Reason, find out the solution. Go and re research about this. Fourth point, perfect sentence formation syndrome. Oh my God. Oh my God. Everyone is obsessed. I want to form sentences. I want to form perfect sentences. I want to form sentences. Sir, my basic problem is I can't form proper sentences. Sir, my basic problem is I, in my, in my head, sir, I translate the sentences. I'm not able to frame proper sentences. I don't know where to use would, could, should. Perfect and syndrome, two words are important. They want to form perfect sentence. Already I told about perfection. Syndrome means what? Sandeep sir, don't tell me anything. Tell me how to frame correct sentence. Syndrome. Syndrome means obsession. Syndrome means nothing else. It's a disease actually. Now why it is a disease I think? I have the answer. Quick fix like a subject. You think that your communication problem, English problem, is a problem which you can sort out in one or two months. Like, like your maths, chemistry, physics. If you haven't studied, it happens in, in school and college days. Oh, my exam is after one month. Oh, I have to study eight hours a day. I will study eight hours. You study and you get good marks, you pass. Same concept, philosophy you try to apply here. It will not work. And the reason is simple. When you go and write any physics exam, you have to go there and just write what are the laws, formulas which are by heart. That's all. You have to write. You are not required to speak. But here you have to speak. Speak and speak. 
right now I'm talking to you. Am I speaking something which is bi-hearted? Have I bi-hearted any sentences? No. I'm just spontaneous. In fact, I made these slides in the morning half an hour before. Because all these things are in my blood, in my DNA. That's the reason why the name of my institute is the DNA. Quick fix solutions will not work. And if you want quick fix, this is not the place. We have, we have students who are coming with us for one year and two years. Some are three years old. Only then they have seen the change in them. Otherwise, try to understand. Those who are going in convent school, their language develops in two to three years. Yes, yes, yes. You heard right. Years, not months. We have long-term courses. It's the way it works. Save money attitude. This is something different. But our mindset is to save money and think that uh, communication, no, we will speak at home. We will speak with each other. <clears throat> Let me tell you one thing. No one can do this because you need a professional surrounding around you. If you say that, sir, I can cook very well at home, then why do you go to hotel and enjoy the food? In home, these things will not happen. I know many people who have genes at home, but they are obese and fat and flabby. Why? Because, and try to understand, you will do this for maybe 15 days and 10 days. After that, again, the original language will start. Second problem is we want cheap courses. I'm not saying that blow your money, but 100 rupee and 50 rupee course will not help you out. You need a professional. I'm not saying that join my institute. If you want to join, you join, otherwise you don't join. But that's not going to help you out. And today I know people, they can afford money, but the mindset is to save money. And when you save money on, on such a scale, you are going to suffer in your life. You are going to suffer in your career. Because I have seen, like for example, when students pay me some fees, and when they get a job, they say thank you, sir. And that package is fifty thousand and eighty thousand per month. Easily they just get all the money back, recover back in first month. ROI in one month. All the ROIs done on investment. The best investment it is but we don't have that mindset. Friends, now, what do you need? You need to change your thought process. You have to be more rational in thinking. More rational. What is rational? Open your eyes. Open your eyes, number one. Look for the proof, look for the evidence. Whatever you are thinking, look for the proof. For example, grammar is required. Look for the proof. Look about your grammar teacher who was teaching you grammar in school. If you have a vernacular medium student, I'm sure you had a grammar teacher like me. My teacher never spoke in English and he wasn't able to speak in English though he was teaching grammar. Look for the proof. 21 day course, look for the proof. Has anyone, is anyone speaking fluently by translation? Go and see, look for the proof. Go and look for that. Second, okay, rational thinking, second. Is this going to help you think all these things, what you're thinking? Is it going to help you to develop your communication? Answer is no. It's not going to help you. That you have to understand, guys. That you have to understand. I want quick fix solutions. Is it going to help you? I want to speak quickly, fluently. Is it going to help you? You should have good habits. Oh my God, good habit. So I'm listening about this habits, habits, habits from my parents, teachers. Now you are also telling the same thing. I'm sorry, I don't have anything shortcut or anything very fancy to tell you, but this is the fact. Good habits, good habits are difficult to live with in the short term, but they are very easy to live with in the long term and very beneficial in the long term. Try to understand. Good habits are very difficult to form. Bad habits are very easy to form. But good habits will take you towards a rational thinking. Again, with a long term destination, 
if you have good habits, see, all of you understand this. Uh, everyone was talking about here, oh, the word is, I will tell, explain about that. Perfect sentence formation. Are you first talk about your good habits? What are your good habits? Do you have the habits? Because habits is a, I love understand, you want to reach a destination here, English. Habits is the vehicle that will take you towards your destination. You are only thinking about your destination. Perfect sentence formation. Are you forget this? What are, talk about your habits. Develop the habits, develop the system. Your habits are taking you everywhere. Wherever you have reached today, even your habits have brought you here. Your health, your wealth, your communication, your savings, all about habits, nothing, no change. <clears throat> no change, no difference, nothing. First change your habits, then everything will change. First change yourself, then everything will change. <clears throat> For change your habits, then English will follow. Communication will follow. Nothing will change unless you change. You need proper surrounding. Proper. Proper means what? Right mindset people. And in our institute, we don't allow anyone to talk negativity and gossip and all. We positivity. We talk, discuss good points. We discuss good topics. We discuss psychology. We discuss about growth. We discuss about how to handle depressions and how to develop our self-esteem and all those things we discuss about. And surrounding, you need to surrounding. You should have someone to speak. And I know you don't have the surrounding, but here I don't have any solution. I have the surrounding. If you're interested, you can join. It's okay, if you, have, if you find anyone else, you can join them. But we have good healthy surrounding. Our teams are there. We, we conduct afternoon, morning, evening sessions for practice. That is proper surrounding. Process oriented approach you need. Just now I said, perfect sentence, poor sentence, better sentence, better vocabulary, confidence, great papa, all these are results. Focus on the process, that are the results, they are the outcomes, don't focus on the outcomes. Outcomes is due to input, what input are you giving, what are you, come on, if it is not in the, you go down, it will not be in the showroom. First, it should mean the go down. Go down means what? The habits. Habits will, your proper surrounding, your rational thinking will develop. So develop the process. Have the process-oriented approach. What is process-oriented approach? Yeah, every day I will design, design my habits. Every day I will speak properly. Every day I will decide how much time I'm going to uh, spend on YouTube, on podcast, on reading. Process enjoying. And when you have the process, dear friends, Fantastic. No one can stop you. And that's more important. Your process is more important. Guys, these were the four important points which I wanted to share. I'm sure you're going to work on this. I'm not sure you, you understood this. But unfortunately, some people watch and again they go back to their old way of thinking. And I can't do anything about this. Because my job was to just tell you the, the, the fact. And still, if you don't change the thought process, still you are with the same way of thinking, then I can't change. But I'm sure that at least you have stayed till end. First of all, congratulations to you. This quality is very important, patience. And you have that. You have shown it here. You have displayed it here that you have the patience. Congratulations for that. Watch the video again if you want. It will be available there for you. And just think about this. Stay. Stay with one channel. Follow one philosophy. Stay with one channel. Follow one philosophy. Stay focused. It's a journey, not a destination. Communication is a journey. Every day you have to get better and better. And better. It's a process. Lifetime process. Just enjoy the process. And Thanks a lot for giving your valuable time on this Sunday. Maybe uh, again, we will be live during that topic, during that during those days, I will come and talk about something about your emotional health also. We are going to be tough from inside out. Thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.